Hello, sweetheart. Ben's been helping me fix a car. Oh. Look at the stain in there as well. Reminds me of you when you was that age. Your dad used to ruin my best tails. I find them covered in engine oil. Let's see if we can ruin a few more, shall we? Oh, but, but don't you dare! <laughs> Come on, upstairs. Right. Hello, love. Uh, been busy? Yeah, a little bit. Where's Ben? I left him a film. You did what? Look, don't go off on one. Well, what do you expect to find you? It's not my fault if Ben wants to see him. What, he actually said that? It was obvious. Right, so we didn't actually say that. You've just assumed. Ian, calm down. I think you're overreacting. Right, is he over there now? Well, unless Phil sold him on the market. Look, if you go to that pub and make a scene, how's that going to help anybody? You're in no position to tell me anything. I see. Out my way, Grant. I'm not in the mood. Funny that. Neither am I. Now, Phil will bring Ben back when he's ready. If he's not back in an hour, I'm coming and get him. You OK? I don't believe this. You're clearing me out. It's your turn. Well, you're not going to beat me this time. No way. Yeah, having fun? Well, Ben is. Look how much he's winning. Oh. If he carries on at this rate, he's going to have the pub off of us. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. I'll talk to Mum. Well, I'm better than Phil. Fancy taking me on. Sign of a good gambler, that is. Always quit while you're ahead. <laughs> <laughs> there I love. Let's try our biscuit, eh? I wonder if Betty will ever be having a biscuit again. Mm. Oh. Where to now? The dots, I have to. Ooh, rather you than me. Oh, we'd better get a champ a drink. Ben's meeting me at Snap for the tenth time. <laughs> and he probably had his eyes closed. Well, yeah, I've always been better at cards than you. I think I'll make him up a fruity cocktail. Umbrella, cherry, the lump. <laughs> well, it seems to be going well, then. Yeah, yeah, it is. And, uh, listen, I think, oh, yeah, thank you for what you said this morning. It helped. Anytime. Proves you don't always talk rubbish, don't you? <laughs> Two teas and a baking patty, please. How long am I going to get the silent treatment for? Until I get an apology. I haven't done anything wrong, Ian. Oh, so taking Phil's side over mine, that's all right, is it? This ain't about sides. I did what I thought was best, and whether you like it or not, Ben wanted to spend time with Phil. How do you know what was right for him? He's ten years old. Oh, right. So you'll listen to him when it suits you, when he wants to be with us. But you'll totally dismiss his feelings if he wants to be with Phil. You can't pick and choose like that. No, oh, I've learned an important lesson, son. Oh, yeah. I thought I could rely on you to support me. I can't, can I? Do you expect me to blindly agree with you if I think you're in the wrong? You went behind my back, right? You didn't consult me, you didn't tell me. In my book, that's betrayal. Right. From now on, I'm staying out of all of this. You're on your own, mate. Oh, why ain't you? Ben, I just wanted to say thanks for coming over the bail. I've had a good time. Have you? Hello, mate. You hungry? He's already eaten. I was talking to my brother. You hungry? No. Right, well, you dropped him off. You can go now. I'd like to set up a regular arrangement so we're all agreed when Ben can come to us. I'm not getting involved. We've loved having him at Vic, so... I wonder if he could stay over for a couple of nights. Are you serious? Well, Ian, it ain't just down to you. No, you're right. Let's ask Ben, shall we? Now, how would you like to uh, stay over at the Vic sometime? Yeah. One sugar, please.